get the old VK cleaned up. I'm going to tell you guys what's going on here in Power Mods headquarters. It's been a while since I've done an update because we've been so darn busy, fellas. Here's the VK 1000 Turbo Beast. The nitrous isn't on it yet, but that's going to happen. Right now I'm having some issues, sort of dialing it in. It runs great with no intercooler on it. As soon as I put the intercooler on and hook up, um, there's a little tube that basically controls the float bowl pressure. Things don't run so good, not so well. So I've got to figure out what to do about that. But you know what? I think in the next couple of weeks, I should have her out in the grass ripping. And I'm really upset that we didn't get to run this thing at the hill drags in Batawa a couple of days ago. It's too bad because we would have had a lot of fun and a lot of people wanted to see the old VK running there. And you know what? We met a lot of great people there who know about power mods and came up to us and had a great old chat with us. It was a lot of fun, actually. We had a great time. Simon did great on the IQR. Did as well as he could. It's a little competitive. He was running, uh, you know, more or less a stalker kind of motor in, with some pretty big rigs. And uh, I was running the Rev 827 RK Tech Big Bore Rev. And I did not too bad against some machines as well. I think I had to run the 801cc up to 1500cc class. I ran the 900, 1000 improved class. Then I did King of the Hill modified and King of the Hill improved, something like that. And uh, I won, I don't know, two or three of them, uh, you know, just the heats, and then went on to the kind of finals or whatever they were, semifinals, and not so good. But you know what? It's a 827 run against the big dogs. So, did all right. Yeah, that VK looks good. I don't want to make it too pretty. It's a sleeper, fellas. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a sleeper. We don't want people to know what's under the hood of this beast. But that's it. Simon's got his quad here. He's tweaking it out. He's got his other quad for sale, LTR 450. Um, good price on it. Check it out on the Power Mods page if you're interested in it. It's a, it's a good race bike. I drove it last year. I should actually buy it, but I just don't have the money right now. Uh, so he's putting that together, getting ready for the races next week. Got to do a little bit more work on the Elan. I'm going to finish that off here in about another two or three weeks. Healy's got a CRF 250R for sale. Uh, anybody wants to buy it, go on to my Facebook page as well, and uh, you can do some communicating with Keeley. Now, what else do we have going on back here? Now, there's the 860 Mountain Mod. I have some video coming out on that. I know I've been slow on it. I have another job. I got a lot on the go, fellas. I do have videos. I have videos from mid-February to put out. Uh, when I was dialing this in, we did some sort of backcountry riding on the logging roads banging off all kinds of rocks and stumps. It was doing well. I finally got it dialed in for the run we did up in Gas Bay, and it was running like a beast. It was running too well. They usually run really good just before they lean out and break on you, and that's what I did. I scuffed a cylinder. I just uh, made a little boo-boo. I'll explain that later next year. Always my fault, right? Uh, I'm going to add a piston to the wall. Let's just say that. But I'm mad. I'm upset that I didn't have this ready for the races at Batawa because that 860 would have been pretty darn competitive. For sure, I know it. Hold on, I'm gonna clean up the side here. Oh, you gotta, oh, look at that. Put the seat cover on, turbo. Oh, she's nice. I think we should start it up. Let's start it up real quick. much as I can do because I uh, have some fuel enrichment issues. It's running too rich, too lean and idle and too rich at full throttle or at even anything, you know, a little bit of throttle, quarter throttle, too rich, rich, rich. I'll figure it out. Uh, the Rev and the IQR are on my truck. I'm going to go for summer storage. Yes, I know it's sad, but I don't know, I might take them out and play in the water a little bit. I think I will with the IQR for sure. That Rev is a solid machine, man. I'm telling you, that RK Tech engine in there is just, never lets us down. Sweet. Um, I'll talk about the Ford in a little while, too. What else do we have going on? It's going to be a good summer. 
I have a whole bunch of pro armor gear coming for my Razor. They're going to give us a roll cage to put on, some seats, some harnesses, all kinds of cool stuff. So we're going to do a little bit of promo for them, show you guys all the cage. They saw me roll it, or just sort of laid on its side, and they're like, oh, Louis, here, <laughs> need a little bit of help? You're going to hurt yourself. I'm getting old, and uh, yeah, I sort of maybe fall asleep when I'm driving too fast, narcoleptic. Um, we're going to do that. Also have a new set of tires from Traction to run and abuse and try to destroy like I do so well. Um, that video is going to be coming out soon. Got to bust that razor out. Just seemed to go from winter to almost summer-like conditions overnight. So that's going to happen. Of course, I have the fat cat. It's at home. I'm going to get that back running again. And uh, three wheelers. We're going to have some fun. We're going to concentrate on some mud this summer. We're going to have uh, we're going to have a good time. So you guys stick around, and I'll have some pretty cool stuff to show you. I know a lot of you guys down south. You don't want to see the snowmobile stuff. You want to see the off-roading things, and that's the season we're into. So stick around. More coming. Oh yeah, gotta do this side. Do this side here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at you. Look at you, Mr. VK. <laughs> You're sleeping. You're sleeping. I'm pretty sure this would have won at Battawa. It would have cleaned up. It would have been the king of the hill. The Viking.